Hello, Hugo here. Hope you're well. Welcome back to another P3D video and another video on the same airport for departure as last video, so I was going to say. Um, so if you know what last video was, then you know what this airport is, but you also might know from the title and thumbnail. Um, welcome to London Gatwick. We've got an Albino EasyJet taxiing to the active runway. An old livery uh, EasyJet 2 over there, a new one taxiing in, I believe. This uh, this aircraft and airport put together is uh, it was doing a fair bit of work on the PC. Um, about a gigabyte left of VRAM to go, which is I mean, it's alright actually. And uh, looking at 40 FPS, but this airport is Genosoft. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Um, so it is a bit hard hitting performance. Anyway, um, get gazing on board. Um, not only are we departing from the same airport, we're not arriving at the same airport, but we are arriving in the, the same vicinity as Tenerife, just like last video. We're going to Fuerte Ventura. Fuerte Ventura, that's how you say it, I believe. Uh, with obviously, as you can see, the TUI 787. Um, flying as Golf Tango Uniform India Hotel. Um, 787 um, 8, I believe. Um, I haven't flown this in a long, long time. I checked the last video I uploaded was actually a, a live stream recording, which was across the pond, which I did in the 787. And uh, if I go over to my to my YouTube channel content here, and I just search down 787. When was my last video with a 787? A proper video. October 27th. Yeah. Oof. Long, 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 long time ago. So welcome back to the 787. <laughs> I have not forgotten how to fly it, so we're all fine in that sense. Um, sounds like catering is finished, so we're going to close up those doors. And uh, that's going to get boarding started, uh, which is going to be... Uh, 73 passengers through Simbrief, it might be different um, somewhere else, uh, aka EFB here. Um, so let's go fill up this stuff. So for our flight, we'll be looking at 20.3 tons of fuel. Not zero fuel, it's 128.9, uh, like so. So it's a lot, obviously, a lot less uh, in here, but. What Sibri said, we've got 73 passengers. And that's now entered in. Goes to Ident. Pausing it. Oh, we need to go and get some stuff set up here. I've got the little power on. And parking brake is set. Uh, battery on. Uh, IFE and cabin. Power. AP generators can go on. You can see it's not glitched out today. It's actually put the external power to on. IRS is they can both line up. Flight door power on. Arm the six lights. Uh, window heats, all the primary ones, not back up. These hydraulics on for now. Passive signs, we've got the fuel on board, so on. Lighting wise, that's fine. It's a bit dark, it's always dark in the air quality swings. I mean, I could just put the dome on, that's nice. Um, nav light can go on um, as we've got power and uh, packs, trim air, and recirc fans. And that's that. Okay. Yeah, it's weird, 787-8, for me, what I'm seeing right here, right now, open up some doors, it just seems quite small, uh, big for Dash 8. It's literally been that long since the last flown 787. I, I thought this was a Dash 9, but it's the shortest variant. I'm starting to realise that it does look quite short, um, especially com <laughs> compared to that 777 over there. Um, yeah, the 10 must be way over, way longer, for sure. Um... Yeah, actually, just uh, for those interested, we are parked at stand 51, North 51. That's where we are right now, at the North Terminal. Uh, right, let's go back inside. Uh, F reference Airport, UGKK. I don't think it's going to get the gate, but GPS position is the same as 
lost, well, lost position, so that's fine. Um, request the route. Request that route. And uh, departure runway. Let's check the winds here. Current winds is 2.30 at 6, so 2 six left for departure. Yay. Let's do a long taxi. And our flight number is, um, well, it's going to be our call sign, which is Tom Jet 4 Kilo Tango. As such, activate and execute that. For those of you who want to do the same route as me, here it is. Just pause the video and enter in all these uh, airways and directs into your FMC. Uh, Perfect, innit? Final Reserve 3, cruising altitude is 410. We're very light, um, not a long flight, so nice high altitude of cruise today. And cost index of 21. Step size will be 0, so definitely not stepping today. And that's all good. Thrust limit. We'll go back to that later. Legs page. We'll go to depart. No, departure and arrival. Sorry, departure. Two six left. And is my door open? In this case, not glitched out. Um, Novma one X-ray for departure. Execute that in. Back to legs route and request the winds. Like so. So that's now done. The winds back already. Execute that and load it in like so, and we can see we're going to be arriving at uh, 1600 Zulu with about six tons of just under six tons of fuel. Um, distance will be 1500 miles. Uh, estimated flight time is going to be three hours and 41 minutes, so just under 40 minutes. Uh, 40 minutes, 40 hours, 40 hours, God, four hours. Got that one uh, Let's reset the radio there. And uh, the QNH needs to be set to hectopascals, um, which currently here in Gatwick is 1022. So we're going to set that like so. Um, let's switch the NDs around like so. This is going to go to the checklist page. Oxygen, let's go and test that out. That's good on that side and on the right. Good. Flashments all up and running. Heading is uh, 348. Both sides and our altimeter is set 1022, giving us 220 ish feet. Um, 210 by the looks of it. Both sides. Cool. Hello. Hash signs are on. MCP will do that just in a moment. Missionized flight on the EFB, and we'll go to the performance page, copy FMC data. Condition is dry, and uh, we'll do D820 initially, optimum, and uh, it doesn't want to do that. Let's do 10. That's okay. You can't do any other flat ratings. Do I have? Did Houston Planet? Where is it? Is it opening? Yeah. Take off. Does it have a 787? Oh, it has a 787 I think this might be better. Does it have a different? No, it doesn't have different D ratings. Okay. We'll just use this. Um, once again, I do apologize for the noisy friend in the background. Um, so that's all fine. That's fine. I'll just take these ratings then. We'll send output. And accept them. I just realized it hasn't given us any, any D rate there. But I mean, this is a D rate in itself. Just a snow select temp. That's what I mean. Like a better the next page. Um, so V1, 130, rotating 131, and our V2 is 142. So we're going to set that up here. And someone is calling. Sorry. Okay, 142, we're going to set that in here. The quality wings scroll very, very weird. Jumps all over the place. Runway heading is uh, 258 degrees. And uh, initial climb, I will set to uh, top altitude of the SID, which is 4,000 feet. Flight director's on, all sorts of armed, and uh, I don't know if you can arm. MCP set up, takeoff speed has gone through, CP flight checklist is complete. If we zoom in enough, we'll get the airport map, like so, which I have loaded in from the GNSOF Gatwick. If you don't know how to do that, I have made a video. 
just search like airport map quality wings or something and it should pop up. Um, doesn't look very good though. <laughs> how do you pan? I don't know how to pan. I think you can go to plan mode then cursor. Oh no, that doesn't. That doesn't um, zoom in. That doesn't have the airport map, which is a shame. Uh, traffic data and uh, terrain on this side. We'll get the VSD up, data and VORs. On this side, we'll get the data and VORs, no VSD. We'll get the weather on at the runway, though. Um, taxi takeoff briefing, we'll just push back with the nose facing to the... Uh, we'll go west, so then we can taxi down Papa. I think it's Papa. Yeah, down Papa, which is this taxiway. And then we'll make our way to uh, the runway. We'll take off for, like, Bravo, same as last uh, last week's video. Depart Bravo. Um, let's go and get the APU powered up, so get that one to start, like so, as I think we're ready, we're almost ready, and that's it, uh, spawning is now complete, so yeah, I'm definitely ready, we close, uh, close L2 door, and we can close up forward cargo, and we can close up aft cargo, cabin light's already on, and once APU is powered up, which we can check here, once this generator goes green, like this one, we will disconnect everything else and request for pushback. In fact, I can request it now. And, uh, and once it's ready, it will get going. Nice big tug for this uh, pushback. So I'm lift the nose up, actually, which is pretty cool. Um, let's go get the fuel pumps on. And once uh, I'm pushed back, we'll get the hydraulics ready to go and uh, we'll leave, we'll get the beacon light on too. There you go, AP generator is now green as Hello, such, Captain. so we'll get we some power off. Let's double check on that. The set, so we can disconnect those. And let's set the T gas to 2000. We're not on Batsim. One day, one day I'll here. just log on to Batsim in a full flight video and you guys will love it, but <laughs> today is not that day. Yeah. Anyway, right, taxi takeoff briefing. Uh, we'll have to take off, but take off Bravo and um, just normal procedures. Um, nose left, please. Check completed. Just follow My this head out uh, into the cruise. Uh, 410. Um, oh, she's calling me again. Give me one second, guys. Okay, parking brake released. Commencing Let's get push. going. Hydraulics Air on to auto. Start at will. And because we're flying a 787 today, uh, we are allowed to start both engines at the same, at the, at the, tame, at the same time. Fuel control left and and uh, right to run. And you can see auto start is written on the uh, on the information page here. On the engine page, not information page. Engine page. I got the custom sound set as well. It's quite loud. Uh, from Turbine Sound Studio Studios or Simulations, I think Studios. Um, it's a custom GE sounds. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hopefully, it's going off to Papa. That is loud. I remember it always being loud. And it is still super super loud. Um, is he going to take the left? I can check what he's doing. He's taxing out. Oh no, that's the wrong BA then. That I found. Oh no. <laughs> Unless he's going the other way. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Well, let's look this way. I don't know where that guy is. He's actually, he's one of these guys. Maybe I can delete these. Now he's gone. <laughs> no collision had happened, or has happened even. Anyway, right. As you can see, we're in the reverses for some reason. I don't know why that was in the reverses. That was very weird. Um, it was like idle reverse for some reason. Not too sure why. Uh, but now we're back on normal idle. Engine has started. <laughs> that was very weird. Uh, park, yeah, the quality wings always things just go weird with it. Either like like my throttle stuck there for some reason, or like my engine controls are already on run when I set cold and dark and whatnot. I think I think that 
bug was fixed though. Um, but yeah, weird things go on in the quality wings world. Um, system flight control. And uh, let's just check electrics here. Generators are running, so AP can go off. And we can do our flight control check. So full left, full right. That's good. All the way down, all the way up. That's good too. Rudder all the way to the left and to the right. That's awesome. Trim to 4.25. That's now set. Check this page. And chai is not needed. Recall is checked. Just the T gas. Also break to RTO. Flight controls we checked. Ground equipment has uh, almost been cleared. Um, well, let's go and set the flaps to 5 then. Like so. And yeah. Left is clear there. Right is clear. Just announced it then. And we'll tick off this to a full takeoff checklist. Once flap has been set, it should give us the wave goodbye too soon. There we go. So there's our wave goodbye. Flap 5 is set. Beautiful. Turn off and tax light on. Back we released. We should be able to taxi an idle. 787 is beautiful at doing that. There we go. Seems like some. Uh, Maybe some aircraft need to be deleted so that I can uh, take off. Let's go left on Papa. That was correct. Sadly, we do not taxi under the bridge today. <laughs> what a shame. Round to the left we go. And uh, for now, we'll follow the easy jet. Ah, I can, sh I can show you what we're doing. If you haven't watched the last video, the previous video even, Bravo is this one straight ahead. We'll, uh, we'll take off. This is Bravo 1 here, I believe. And this is like Bravo Romeo. We'll, t we'll depart out of Bravo, Bravo? Bravo Romeo. It's a 2 3 19, so. Um, so yeah, pretty quick departure. Not too bad. Um, let's see, let's see, AI companion, delete, delete, <laughs> here we go, well, I'm going to turn off the dome light, it just, nah, it just seems weird, I'm just going to have it on, because that just seems more, I mean, it won't have the shadows, but it just seems too dark, uh, well, like, with it turned off, it's just really weird, uh, all the land lights on, text light off, strobe light on, um, what am I looking for? Weather, radar on. I need to check the T-gas before we go on the runway. T-gas is now on. There's no aircraft coming in to approach, so we'll make our way onto the runway. Trim is set, flaps are set, passenger signs are on. All the lights are set. Automatic timer for departure, so we are good to go. 26 left, runway verified. Super duper loud, engines verified. Oh, yeah. If you also watched my previous previous video, sorry, the grass and everything was really weirdly elevated. I have fixed that. It was just because of the scenery library order. Um, Orbex is on top of Genosoft, and a bit of issue over there actually, um, but it's now fixed, as you can see with it, with Genosoft now being at the top of the scenery library. Right, let's go set 50%. Make sure the engine's all stable, fired up before we hit Toga. Which they are good. So Toga looking for eighty-seven point six percent and one. That has been reached. Stable. Eighty knots. I forgot. There's a HUD, but that's better to use at landings. So. B1. B1. Rotate. Nice slow rotation. The dreamliner after all. People will already be asleep. I don't want to wake them up after a uh, quick rotation. Uh, positive rate, gear up. There we are. Almost pitching up almost 20 degrees there. <laughs> awesome. Uh, we'll skip all the restrictions. 6,000. We'll just do that and then up to 410. No ATC. No one's going to stop us. 
sound like a villain then. Um, let's zoom out. Pitch down. And uh, we'll mark on the autopilot because that's what we do. Once again, Beautiful Clouds by Rex Skyforce 3D. It is not true. That's weird. It's not True Sky, it is Rex Sky Force 3D. It's the default cloud system, but custom textures from Rex. Is that wind? I hear wind, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, from Rex Sky Force 3D. And I got M Shade installed too for the shaders. So, yeah, I literally hear wind, that's awesome. I don't like if it turned off. It's, I mean, that's just really weirdly dark, isn't it? It's like there's no sun. Or well, like no windows for the sun to get in. Like, you can see it there, but and like on these shades, but it, maybe it's just the way the cockpit's designed. It, 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 the windows just don't let in that much light, and it might be like this IRL. But I do remember back in prepared V4, it was a lot brighter inside here. But if I flew the FS Labs, for example, it's not dark at all, so it's not like my shaders are messed up. I wish this dome light was like um. What's the word? Variable? So I can have it on a little bit, because having it whack fully fully on just seems a bit a bit crazy. Uh, 6,000 feet, standard pressure. And uh, we'll set progress page uh, on the left side MCD. Uh, that's checklist. Take off the checklist. checklist is completed. And uh, I don't know what's come up with the approach. Descent checklist should be next. Weird. Um, 10,000 feet get the uh, landing lights off and then I'll whack you guys over to the cinematics hopefully we'll never have to do this checklist the evacuation <laughs> hopefully we'll definitely have to do it in the sim because I never crash planes or have to do any emergency landings <laughs> 9,000 feet. One to go. Reset this heading. And there's 10,000, so land the lights off. And they turn us off, so we've just got the strobe, the nav, and the beacon light on. And there we are. So thank you guys very much for watching the departure out of Gatos. Can't wait. And, uh,. Off this speed restriction, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the arrival into Fuerteventura. Enjoy the cinematics.
So far we have been flying for 3 hours, 19 minutes, as you can see there. Current time is 16.32 Zulu, and uh, we've got here on the um, Turto 6 Sierra arrival, which takes us to this waypoint SOTAD, which we then transition uh, for the ILS for runway 01 for Fuerza Ventura. Um, I think at the first, no, Nidom, there's a waypoint called Nidom, I think it's this waypoint here, yeah, we need to be uh, below 8,000 and above 6,000, basically all the way until um, the waypoint before Sotan, so this curve bit here um, will be to between 8,000 and 6,000 feet, and then after that we'll start our descent again. I'm going to continue this down to about, let's see, 2,500. Let's set that 2,500. That's what the RS would be. I still got the dome light on, as you can tell. See bus signs are on too. And, uh, right, the smoke bells about, um, Sound of pressure here. Let's make it not moan about that. Set the transition level here. Six zero. There we go. Let's might as well set the current QNH here. One zero one five. That's what it is. No, one zero two five, sorry. Let's double check that is correct. Yeah. And uh, engines Spooling down to 240 knots. To get ready to slow down. For this curve of the beat. Um, you know what? Screw the curve. Um, let's... Hmm. Let's go to the waypoint before so tight. Get a bit of a turn there. That will help out with the descent rate and uh, the speed. Obviously we're still in the BNF, uh, we're still way below the BNF actually. That is not the BNF, this is BNF. So now we've jumped way below, which is absolutely awesome. Um, so I guess the aircraft is holding this altitude for a bit until it gets back on the BNF. Let's speed up again. By the looks of things, we should see the runway to the right of us. At least the airfield. It's heading correct. Yeah, there it is. There's the airport. For what in Ventura? This is the MK Studios scenery, by the way. Um, I just realised on the charts. Uh, there is like a some sort of a. Can I have... Ah, I could have selected it. Interesting. I won't do it anymore. I might... I uh, have the chance of not going all the way out to SOTAD. I can... Uh, you know what, if I go flight level change, let's do, let's, let's do this. 250. I'm going to forget about routing for now. And uh, 240 knots. Flight level change. 2,500 feet. And we'll just we'll just see how fast this uh, this brings us down. Let's bring out some speed brake just to have it down to 250 knots quickly. Is that still the air? I thought we were flying right past it still. I guess not. Uh, runway length is uh, 3,400. Which one be fine? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Just approaching 240 knots now. Um, let's set minimums as well. So we're doing the ILS, therefore our minimum is 303 feet. Click reset on that and set 300, just round it down. So that's 240 knots. So our descent rate will now pick up. As you can see, the green arc is the 
the point where you would reach the certain altitude of whatever you selected. So for us, it's 2,500 feet. Let's go uh, right there. You see, it's. We've still got the sensory break out. I'm going to leave it out. And I think I'm going to turn when I am level with Demix. Yeah, just before. Yeah, we'll, just, we'll turn just before Demix. And do like a direct like this. Once I'm like basically almost level with it. And yeah, I have to follow that through. I'm not sitting as fast as I want, but that's 10,000 feet, so landing lights can go on. Yeah, now I want to turn. Turn a bit later than Demix, but I'm not sure what's going on with that. The descent rate, let's put a whole load of speed break out. That will help. <laughs> yeah, 2,000 feet a minute, a lot better than the, uh, the 1,000s that we got earlier. Nine thousand feet, and obviously, in, not obviously, but once we're in the turn, I will I'll put VS on eighteen hundred, and then we can slow down the speed to whatever it needs to be. Okay, I right. go direct to Dermax now. And look, now we're, we're 1,000 feet above BNM, which is fine, because we are catching up with it. And I'll s bring the speed down. I won't... Because we're not on flight level change anymore, our speed will not go down, and our descent rate will stop. Um, because we're in BS mode, descent rate has priority over speed now. Uh, we'll go and set 180 knots. We'll bring the HUD down. We'll get the HUD menu on. So that's the autopilot. I have been used this one. <laughs> um, it's this menu, so. Bring the VNAV up. That's that speed there. Bring that right down. 180 again. Now back on the VNAV. Now read up, do that direct to Demix, like so. The aircraft kind of has some understanding of what's going on. And I'll leave this to break out. Now we're back on the main I'll leave this to break out to let the aircraft slow it down. I'll bring out flat five as well. Sorry about that. Uh, altimeter, yeah, that's now set 101. What? Let's reset itself for some reason. 025. There we go. And we're decelerating at the same time. Which is good. Right, that's good. Landing checklist. Uh, yeah, that won't be done for a while. That's alright. Just passing the flat up debug speed there. Um, where's my flat speed? I think it's 15 is 250. Okay. Right hand turn. And we'll be uh, getting ready to go into final for the approach. So I get the approach armed. And uh, as you can see, we're below the glide slope, which is perfect. We are around 180 knots, which is also perfect. All good. Speed break can go. And uh, let's arm it. Localizer. And uh, we'll get the glide slope very soon. You know what? I'll just go on BS mode here and just set minus uh, 400. And that should do. Should just be a just about there we go. Glide so beautiful. I've got runway in sight, lights are on, overhead is sorted for landing. Alright. Oh, beautiful island. I don't, I don't know if this is that 
stop it. <laughs> I don't know if this is photoreal. I think it is. Or mesh, at least, or something like that. MK Studios did full photoreal centenary, um, centenary scenery, or island even. Uh, but this is a 2017 scenery. It's not the newly released, updated tenery, so But it looks like it isn't. Orbex or P3D, so I think it is um, Photoreal from NK Studios, which is pretty cool. But let's focus on the landing, alright? <laughs> Almost 10 miles to run. Zoom in here and here. I think I did. I'm pretty sure I, uh, yeah, I made an airport map. I think you can. Yeah, okay. When the range is below 5, I guess, uh, this airport iCal will pop up saying probably it's the closest one or the arrival airport iCal. And um, I think if that pops up, it means we've got an Apple map. I could be wrong. But that's what I think. Alright, it's passing 2,500. Um, actually, let's go set the real missed approach altitude, which is 4,000. If we need to do one, hopefully not. By well, the looks of our flight time, we are, we are very on time, basically 10 minutes early, which is awesome. 2500 checked. Right, let's go set flight 15. That's all right to do. Flight 15 is set. And uh, you know what I forgot to do? It's only very quick. There you go, done. Um, flat 30, 128. We'll do plus 5 on that, so 1 to 33. We'll set that now. Not 100. I don't like the scrolling and the quality wings. The wind is very strong, so yeah, we can do plus 5 to get ourselves 133. And the winds are basically a direct crosswind as well. As you can see. Right, gear down. And if you look at the runway, there's a there's a huge, huge gap until, um, uh, you know what, I said Dodge Rake 1 would be fine, but I forgot about this huge uh, threshold. You know what, I'm going to do Dodge uh, 2. Get down green, flap 20. And uh, let's go all the way on the flaps now. Fine, check this is complete. There you go, because the airport map uh, is there, which is awesome. 1,000. 1,000 checks. Right, let's take out the autopilot. My aircraft. The wind is making it a little difficult to, to use the HUD as a flight director. But um, I'm not making any movements. I'm just letting the aircraft stay as it, as it was. Just move to the left of it now. Because the 787, we can just leave it in the awesome throttle. And it will idle itself. Checked. Approaching minimums. So yeah, this one weighs a bit. Off putting, let's say. Minimums continue. Two hundred. <laughs> Got three weds three reds. Who am I? Three reds and one white. One hundred. Touchdown zone's like in the middle of the runway. I'm not sure what's going on the tail now there. Forty flashing. Thirty. <laughs> Twenty. Ten. Touchdown. Out of reverse. Not much flare there, but we're too e in that airways, so it's alright. And uh any braking. That's normal power. Am I gonna be able to pick it left? No, we'll take the next left now. Don't wanna slam the brakes on. Hard to goodbye. Vacating left on Echo 
four. I believe this is. Right, let's put some brakes. Brakes aren't working, amazing. That's all right. Okay, four. Down to T2. Right, lights off, flaps up, strobe off. Spoilers in. With that radar off. T gas to stand by. Where is it? I don't know. T gas. Yeah. And there, uh, we'll just hang straight down until the terminal. And let me just check. Just trust the flight radar. Where are we parking? Where are we parking? One of the main stands. Okie dokie. One of the ones with the jetways. We'll take 20. 23, because that's. That's a heavy stand. With, uh, with the jetway and whatnot. And that means we will go in at Lima 3. This is Lima 1 here. We'll take the left, which says Lima 3. And let's go and get the AP1. This next left will be Lima 2. Next one should be Lima 3, which will then basically be in line for the, uh, for the, um, I've lost my words, for the stand. Right, Ultrabrick needs to go off, or else I'll be moaning at us. Bring it around to the right. Lights can go off. <laughs> Not the dome line, because that this makes it very, very dark. And here's our stand just here. Just make our way over. So 23. Not Bravo or any other ones, just 23. Maybe in real life they do park at Bravo. This seems like for smaller aircraft. Does that say 7-8 or does it say 7-6 over there? 7-6, interesting. I need to watch where I'm parking. Hmm. Yeah, that's flickering quite a lot. That's quite annoying. Stop. Oh, too far. Oopsies, bye-bye. <laughs> Parker brake set. And uh, is the AP running? It is. Engines. Good night. She could have used the uh, the info map there for a bit, but um, it's not that hard. So we taxi down Lima three there. All right. Hydraulics off. Pumps off. Christy boarding. Bring uh, the uh, Alta jetway to the door. What does it keep doing? That it's really annoying. Um, let's get power. Let's get wood shocks and next the power on AP off and uh, big light off and see bus signs off and open up the cargo doors. Oh, my next is just open for some reason. That's why, because uh, the chair is almost here actually. These chair is like very rusty at the top. You know? And I'm pretty sure I know why it'd be rusty, but I'm not sure why it, why it, who that who let that happen. There you go. <laughs> who let it go rusty? Yeah, why is going on with the flick? I mean, I mean, it's not really V5 uh, compatible. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I forgive, uh, I forgive all that flickering. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video and flight of Tui and the Dreamliner. I'll catch you all next time. Enjoy your week. Bye-bye.